Close your eyes and focus on what you're doing right now. As the Buddha said, days and nights fly past, fly past. What am I becoming right now? And what you become comes from your actions. So pay careful attention to your actions. You can create all kinds of goodness. You can create all kinds of evil from your actions. But if you have goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others, you want to create as much skillfulness as you can. And you have that opportunity. Like right now, you have the opportunity to rest and watch the breath. So make the most of it. Stay with each breath all the way in, all the way out. As for other things going on outside, just tell yourself, that's somebody else's business. That's one of the first things I noticed when I first went to stay with John Fuang. He had a very clear sense of what was other people's business and what was his business. And if it wasn't his business, he wasn't concerned. Our business right now is to look after our body, speech, mind. The things we do with the body, the things we say with our speech, the things we think with our mind. That's where we're responsible. And you realize that in putting these things in good shape right now, you're also preparing for the future. I don't know how many people say that Buddhism is all about the present moment, and why worry about the future when you can make the present moment good. That's well, very heedless. The opposite of the Buddha. The Buddha was heedful. He saw that actions gave the results not only now, but also on into the future. And you want to take the future consequences in, in mind, because those can last for a long, long time. Fortunately, the path is not one of pain and misery. After all, the major factor of the path, right concentration, the one that's explained in the most detail, starts out with pleasure and rapture. But it's a special kind of pleasure, the pleasure of focusing in on the body as you feel it from within, letting go of all thoughts of sensuality, all unskillful thoughts. So it's a pleasant place to be, and it's a good place to be, and it's good for the future. You've got all your bases covered. And it's in this way that you show goodwill for yourself. And as you learn to show more and more goodwill for yourself, it's a lot easier to show goodwill to others. If you ride roughshod over your own happiness, or your own potential for happiness, how are you going to be caring about the happiness of other people? It'll all be lip service. But if you have genuine well-being inside, then it's a lot easier to wish for the well-being of others. So looking after your responsibility is not irresponsible to other people. You're sending out good energy, you're sending out good thoughts, words, and deeds. Other people are bound to benefit. Of course, you benefit yourself.